Fast offense propelled Iona to a 7-0 lead less than two minutes into the game. The Ryder Bronx then called a timeout and controlled the pace the rest of the way. Iona not slowed down as they turned to their defense, holding their opponent under 60 points for a second consecutive game as they beat the Bronx 67-58. to I'm really proud of them for that because we needed our defense to get a lot better regardless of who we had playing out there on our team and the fact we played shorthanded a lot of games and have been able to continue to get better in that area is great. As the game was close throughout, it was Ibn Muhammad who put the icing on the cake for the Gales, knocking down a three with less than a minute and a half to go to put the Maroon and Gold up by eight. I'm really happy for him because he struggled shooting at the last couple of games and that was a conversation we had after the last game is how much we believe in him as a shooter because unlike a year ago, he put in so much time in the offseason and has become one of the best shooters on the team. Three players in double figures for the Gales. <laughs> AJ English leading the way, 24 points and 7 assists. Isaiah Williams narrowly missing a double-double, 15 points and 9 rebounds. And Jordan Washington, 11 points, all coming in the second half. My teammates told me to um, just come out strong because they knew there was something wrong with me. So they said, don't worry about it, just come out strong and keep playing hard. And that's what I did. This win marks the 25th straight for the Gales at home. And English looks to his coach for their success. That goes really to Coach Gluson and how uh, hard he works. In, in the office and, and just uh, every single day how he prepares us in practice or on the court. To me, honestly, all that matters is the next game ahead of us, the winning streak. What does it matter? You want to talk about winning streaks? Look to Duke and Kansas, all right? That, those are winning streaks, all right? This is, is what it is. We're just trying to play and win every time we go out. Next game up for the Gales will be the Marist Red Foxes right back here at home on Saturday as Iona looks to go to 6-0 in the MAC. Reporting from the Hans Athletic Center, I'm Ian Sachs.